Hi everybody. So today we're going to be going through a unilateral plantar flexion pails and rails set. So plantar flexion is our ability to do this movement, pointing the toes, going in this angle with the ankle. All right. So this is what I'm going to be addressing with this particular exercise is the connective tissues all on the front side. So for this setup, <coughs> I'm going to have a yoga block or something similar, all right? And what you're going to do variables is you can explore is when you place this foot onto the block, you want to have a bit of a gapping here where we're trying to open and stretch, okay? You could play with exactly how much on and off you are onto this box uh, block. You could play with the height as well. So this will most likely give you a more deeper stretch. Again, you can also play with how much you're sitting onto this back ankle. So if I'm here forwards a bit, I'm not really weight bearing too much onto it. But the more I start to shift my way back, I could even be from slightly collapsed with my torso here, which is I'm still putting a lot of weight onto it, to coming a little bit more upright to then sitting my hip weight, but the weight of my hips onto this ankle a lot more. So just by me coming more upright versus being down here changes how much I'm loading this stretch. Other things you can play with would be ankle rotation. So in this position, it might be, or you might have the ability to rotate the ankle as so and see how it feels. This will move the stretch around. Another way you could do it is potentially just shift your body weight over your ankle in a different direction. So I'm just kind of organically now moving or shifting my pelvis to one side, shifting it to the other side. And as I'm doing that, I'm moving this ankle around slightly, which is moving the stretch as well. So you're using this or these variables to kind of explore lines of tension, find a good setup that gives you a good line of tension. And then once you're there, as you notice, I've got a couple of yoga blocks to also help support myself, rest myself. You want to hold for the prescribed amount of time. And then the pales contraction in this position would be to contract everything on the front side that's being stretched. So I would start my pales contraction, push down at 20%, contract all that that's being lengthened, and then build that up to my safest, greatest effort and hold for the prescribed time after which my rails contraction would be the opposite. Somewhere I think try to plant to flex more, okay? Try almost as if there was a scale underneath my foot. I'm trying to get off that scale and get as light as possible. So I will start to switch contraction. I'm starting to plant to flex a bit more. I'm contracting everything under my foot to help create that happen. I'm also contracting everything on the back of the calves to help make that effort happen. And I hold that for a prescribed amount of time as well. After which, I then begin to soften that contraction and get slightly deeper into my passive stretch. So this could be simply just sitting a bit further back onto the ankle. And then while I'm here, I could also explain, um, explore the line of tension. So it might move around a bit. I could also find a better line of tension by what I said earlier with all the variables. Start to move my upper body over my ankle, move the pelvis, rotate the ankle a little bit to find a good line of tension.